but so it's understood. Let's communicate. Now we're going to bring another party into the studies we've been making this weekend. Nine. Yet Michael. Remember the war in chapter 10 of Daniel? Lasted 31 years, didn't it? Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, does uh, not bring against him a riling accusation, but said, the Lord rebuked thee, Satan. Just like that. You don't argue with Satan. He'll pull you under if you give him a chance to. Just don't argue with him. But why did Satan dislike Michael so well? Michael's his jailer. Michael's the one that's got the key to the locks that's chaining up those loose and those fallen angels. Why did he want Moses' body? Moses was symbolic of law, God's commandments, and Satan hates them. He wants to instill his own set of laws. And you know something? A lot of people let him get away with it because they would rather go with Satan's law than they would God's common sense. It's true. It's like, let's take uh, the law, cocaine is of Satan. It'll mess up your mind. So naturally he's gonna push it where your mind is easy, easily de dealt with. But cocaine, you start losing things. Other things become more important to you than your own family, your own job, your own obligation. And you'll end up losing everything you have. And people like it. They get sucked into it. They'll fall into a trap that they know is just waiting for them. Be intelligent, beloved of all times in history. This is the time you stop, you think for yourself, and you kick dragon. When that kind of filth comes around, but I don't want